Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There is plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. Um, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your day. It's always my hope that when you visit me here, um, you know, you you find it entertaining, you have a good time, and hopefully you walk away with some messages that uh, resonate for you and that can help you in your real life off of the internet, friends, because at the end of the day, that's the important part um, is, you know, how you feel out there in the world. So, um, you know, if I happen to say something that triggers you, if you do not like my delivery, if you don't like my style or what I have to say or what the messages are, I completely understand. Um, you know, no one is for everyone. So please feel free to click off of the reading. Um, yeah. And if something does not feel right to you, you do not have to claim it as your story, friends. I cannot stress that enough. Um, I love hearing from you guys in the comments. And I really love how you guys are like showing like support for each other. That is so cute to me. Like, I, I think it's so cool, the little community that we're building. So um, I love to see it, friends. So let's get to it today we are going to be looking into your secret admirer we're going to be seeing who this person or these people are some of you could definitely have more than one secret admirer we're going to see who they are and what is it that they like about you so friends you know what to do we have three stickers to choose from today we have group number one group number two and group number three Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into your secret admirer. So who is this person? Who's got a little crush on you? Uh, we're going to be asking that question. We're going to be seeing who this person is or people. Some of you could definitely have more than one secret admirer. And we're also going to be looking into what it is that they like about you. We'll be pulling some initials, some Oracle cards, you know, we'll, we'll be having a good time with it. Friends, if something, you know, does not sound like it's for you, if it's picking up energy of a past person, I know how done you guys feel, some of you about those past situations, um, by all means, feel free to click off of the reading. Um, it's not a story that you need to claim as your own. Always remind yourself of that. There's no message on the internet that overpowers your own inner knowledge of your own situation, okay? All right. <laughs> Let's begin. My group number ones. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. Who is their secret admirer? Who is this? Who is my group number one secret admirer? Who is this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Who is their secret admirer? Who is their secret admirer? Messages for my group number ones. We have the two of wands. This is definitely someone who has not made their move towards you. Yeah, this is someone that you're also currently, I don't think they're in your current like surroundings or energy. I think maybe it's been a while since you've seen this person. Some of you, like you never had awareness that they were into you. But for some, they feel like um, you overlooked them. Yeah, this is someone who definitely does not have the courage to make a move towards you. Why the Four of Wands? Why the Page of Wands? Why the Judgment in Reverse? This is someone who's also like purposely tried to, uh, oh yeah, there's a reason. They feel like, you know, there's chemistry between you. They feel like it might be mutual, you know? Um, so that makes me think that when you guys did interact, I do feel you guys have had in like real life interactions or at least some kind of flirtation at some point if it was just online but for most of you i kind of feel like this could have been like in the workplace or somewhere that we had in common at ten of pentacles in reverse it could definitely feel like a work connection page of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck to confirm that if it's not that 
maybe maybe this is someone who was in a long-term connection i do kind of feel like you guys have flirted with this person though but at the same time um this isn't something that you've like taken seriously like again this person feels like you've overlooked them like maybe they also kind of feel like you you're like that or you're just being nice or you're like that with everyone yeah, they purposely stop themselves from coming towards you and they like to play dumb. Like they definitely play aloof when you're around. They're like, oh, NBD, NBD, group number one's around. Yeah, this person, um, they're, they're afraid. They get nervous. Like, uh, yeah, they almost like don't even know what to say. This person also, like, if I can't tell if, like, for some of you, like, they don't even, like, see you on social media anymore or they don't get to see you anymore. It's almost like there is some kind of disconnect here. Maybe you've been laying low. If they do get to see you, it's, like, because someone else maybe posted you or, you know, if you'll know if that's for you. Because not everyone's out there like that, right? <laughs> but it almost makes me feel like this person tries to keep an eye out for you. So it's like if they know where you work or certain places that you frequent. Or if they, if you guys know the same people, it's like they do keep an eye out. But they act dumb. They definitely, they, they, uh, they're not leading on to this. This is something that they've kind of kept to themselves. Here's the thing, though. I think that this is someone that you kind of like. Um, to what degree, I'm not really sure, but I think that whatever interactions you guys have had, you're like, oh, they're cool or, you know, but it's not really gone that way. Let's see. So we have Aries, we have water signs, earth signs, but strong Aries coming through with the fool and the emperor and then also Sagittarius. Let's see, what else can we learn? Why haven't they made a move? Oh, because they can't. Yeah, because of their position. They, oh, this person fantasizes a lot. So they have a lot of excuses. <laughs> Why haven't they stepped forward? They have a lot of excuses. They're saying that they can't, but then, you know, there's a seven of cups followed by that, which means that there's a lot of fine print that comes after that. I can't because eh, too much, buddy. At the end of the day, I just don't think that they have the confidence or it's because of their position. Whether that's their position in life, you know, relationship status, I don't know, or their, their work. But uh, they're also someone who's like, they couldn't take rejection. That's the other thing as well. So it's like if they feel like you've overlooked them or you've kind of, yeah, that you haven't given them the time of, time of day, that further adds to that, you know, because it's like the rejection, it's kind of looming. So I don't think that they would risk rejection besides the point that, or besides the fact that some of them, you know, might have other reasons to not come forward. All right. Yeah, look at, they're all, they got the little feels for you with that Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords are reversed. You'd never know it. Yeah, this person doesn't like to go too long without like knowing about you or hearing from you. Maybe you're also like a little like mental vacation for them. Like, you know, during the day, during their everyday life. All right. Well, they put a big old stop sign when it comes to you. Why well, can already tell that they view you as being someone who's really like solid, like someone who others can rely on, someone who knows how to handle their shit, very nurturing, strong as well. Thank you, Spirit. What else can we know, please? Who is this person? Who is my group? 
number one secret admirer? How would my group number ones know who they are? Thank you, spirit. Who is their secret admirer and how would they know who they are? Messages for my group number ones, please. Who's their secret admirer and how would my group number ones know who they are? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Who's their secret admirer and how would they know who they are? We have the devil in reverse, the empress in reverse. This is someone that I think that you may kind of know that they have a crush on you, or maybe you've assumed maybe this is kind of mutual because we did see that mutual energy earlier. Um, but it's almost like a situation that you're like, I'm going to steer clear of that, or I don't see how that would work out because you're also feeling like there's a stop sign there. And you're definitely not, this is not a situation that you're going to be going after. If you did, it's almost like you'd be asking for trouble <laughs> is the energy that I'm getting. Maybe because, you know, of the things that we talked about, if any of that rings true, why the devil in reverse, that you do work with them or someone is already in a relationship. You could view this as a situation that you already put to rest and you're like not trying to, I don't think that this is something that you view as that it would be adding to your life. It would maybe, maybe it feels like you're avoiding a complication of some sort. You viewed this as maybe a little crush, a little, you know, something sweet. I do think you have, you feel this person is sweet and I do think that you feel like they're attracted to you. Um, look at that. Cause I do think that you feel a little something, something for them. Maybe you view them as someone that got out of a toxic relationship. Maybe that's how you'd know who they are, that they had some kind of ending. Maybe that's why you were avoiding it at some point. Because a part of me is kind of feeling this energy that some of you wouldn't mind exploring this or, you know, continuing this little flirtation or connection, you know, if given the chance. But I kind of feel like, you had to be like strictly business to some degree. But yeah, I, I definitely think that you feel this person like looking at you or you know they do, you know that they find you attractive. And this two of cups, it almost tells, look at seven of swords, two of cups. It's almost like a, a part of you is like hiding the fact that you also kind of feel connected to them. I don't know. Some of you, I feel like, I feel like you, you feel that two of cups with this person. Now, this could also be saying that some of you have moved on, um, but that seven of swords, it almost tells me like you're pretending not to look back or you're pretending not to notice. So maybe you're the one playing aloof too. Maybe you're just waiting to see what happens, waiting to see if they reach out, waiting to see what their next move is. Hangman, Page of Swords, and Three of Wands. Just waiting for that message. Interesting. My group number ones, the plot thickens. Well, let's see. Yeah, I kind of feel like some of you have been waiting to hear from this person or when, or if you did hear from them, you'd be like, oh my gosh, it's been so long. Or maybe you had just been thinking about this person not too long ago. And you're like, I wonder what so-and-so is up to. Hmm. But you're going with the flow. Interesting. I'm getting the vibe that if this person popped in and their situation was cleared up or you guys had a green light, I don't know. You guys might fuck around and find out. <clears throat> Yesterday, someone in the comments tried to call out that I only pick cards that I want to out of the deck. Um, and right now that I was looking through the deck, I just thought about that. And I'm like, no, no, I do not just pick out cards that I want out of the deck. Um, not that I have to explain how I read or how my 
guides communicate messages to me. But when you guys see me kind of off to the side and you see this, or I'm like just talking, it's because my deck tells me stories throughout the whole deck. Anytime I shuffle this whole deck, it's already telling me a whole story. So anywhere that I look, I know what the conversation is. I know where the story is. So as I'm going through, when I see things that are relating to what I'm talking about, I'll call them out. Um, I don't know, guys. That's just how I read. So if someone has a problem with it, I don't know what to tell you. If the messages are resonating and you still have a problem with how I pull the cards, I don't know what to tell you, my friend. That was random. Anyway. <laughs> my group number one well let's see what does this person like about you let's um let's see what what they admire about you my group number ones thank you spirit messages for my group number ones please what does this person like about my group number ones what does their secret admirer like about my group number ones what can you tell us what does this person like about my group number ones? We have the three of swords in reverse, the queen of swords in reverse. This person might have seen you heal, like heal through something. This person, I feel like they've watched you kind of go through some kind of change or some kind of transition where you've invested into yourself interesting okay here's the thing i feel like you triggered this person to some degree things that in the past that they didn't think about or it's like the way that you guys i don't get that you guys like are talking or that you guys talk it's almost like maybe your time has been limited What do they like about my group number ones? What does this person like about my group number ones? They like how you don't care what other people think. You just do, it's like you do you. And it's like you don't really care who understands or who doesn't. So they kind of like that you're a free spirit. They find that really liberating. They also feel, again, there's something about healing and you kind of being on your own. They like that you're mysterious. They like that you don't share everything that you're doing. You're not like, there's a lot about you that they feel that they don't know. And what I mean by oversharing, it just doesn't feel like you're, uh, you know, uploading content, keeping people posted as to exactly what you're doing every day or, you know, some of you have an air of mystery. And that's something that they like. They feel that you're also very protective over the things that you care about, over the things that you invest in, your priorities. They view you as someone that's, that's worked really hard or that you take your responsibilities, you take like what you have going on seriously. And that's also part of the triggering that I think that if this person has watched you or knows things about you, like I'm not getting that it's 100% a, a stranger that we're picking up on that is your secret admirer. This feels like it's someone that knows enough about you to know that you're a fighter, you're a hustler, you like keep going. They do feel like you're someone that has had some type of hardship. Again, I kind of feel like they've witnessed part of that hardship or Hopefully they weren't part of that hardship, but it's like they, they've kind of watched you maneuver. And um, because of that, you've kind of in, inadvertently um, triggered them into kind of realizing their own shit too, because maybe they kind of view your situation as being mirrored with their situation to some degree, meaning maybe they see a part of themselves within you. Um, and the things that you have done or accomplished or the way you approach them, it's kind of made them realize how they need to be or haven't been or, you know, maybe where they kind of fall short. Why the King of Swords in reverse, please? What does this person like about my group number ones? What is it that they like about my group number ones? What the King of Swords in reverse? 
Yeah, you've kind of pointed out to this person how they there's been things that they haven't like moved on from and how they need to. You've pointed out things that they need to work on. This person, by the way, they view you as being someone who's like really like smart or again, like knowledgeable. Earlier, you were coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, you know, and now even though it's the Queen of Swords in reverse again, because I, I don't think that you. I don't think you're really constantly communicating with them. They feel like you're a mystery, but that's also part of what kind of draws them in because they're like, what are they going? What's going on with them? What are they up to? You help make them feel better about their situation or their current situation, or it's like there's something here that you've helped them kind of realize and you help get them out of their head, even though there's someone that can get really stuck in their head. Why the nine of swords in reverse? And they also feel like, you know how earlier I said, like, they might think like you rejected them or you're like aloof to them or you haven't given them the time of day. There's also like, that's also something that they like about you, that you're not like, it's almost like you have like a, you have like a hard edge to you or you have like, you're soft, but you have sharp edges. Like you're not all wrapped up in like romance or love. Like you're like serious about your shit and they like that and they respect that about you. But at the same time, <laughs> they've been triggered because it like points out how they've been showing up. They're also pretty stubborn. This person, it's like they've also, you've helped them realize, or again, it, when I say help them realize, I'm almost like saying you Un unknowingly, uh, you know, triggered them, um, triggered these feelings within them is more so what I'm picking up on is that um, this person. So for some of them, depending on the, the scope of your connection or of how much interaction, it's almost like some of them miss you or they miss you being around. Again, it's almost like they don't like to go too long without like knowing what's going on with group number one. But the other thing is like things that are lacking in their life. Like you've kind of have brought that to light of things in their life that they're missing. Things that in their life they filled up with other things. They filled up with distraction or they filled up with quick fixes, quick band-aids, cheap thrills per se behaviors that didn't go anywhere and because they have kind of seen you like I said I feel like they've seen you invest I feel like they've seen you go off and like do your own thing it's almost like they've realized how they have stayed stuck in place this person also has like they either like lie or they don't own up to their feelings they might just lie to themselves and that doesn't get them anywhere. And that's something that they also have, I'm almost getting like what they've learned from this admiration I'm, or these feelings that they have towards you. I'm almost getting like a sense of comparison with you, which is interesting. But again, like, you know, a secret admirer, it's definitely, it could be comparison to some degree right? It's like what we love in others or what we like in others. It's a reflection of what's within us. And it's the same when someone triggers us negatively. It's because we're seeing something with them that we don't like within ourselves. And so then we project. So this person could go extra cold or extra aloofy or, you know, when you're around because it's almost like, oh, I don't want to feel this way, but I don't want to like you like this. Or I don't, I don't like how you remind me of things that I need to fix within myself. And you have nothing to do with that, my group number ones. You're just over here living your life. You're literally over here. You're like, um, I'm literally not even talking to you, bro. And they're like, yeah, but it's just what I know of you and what I see. Um, yeah, this person is just not, it's almost like they're extra not confident when it comes to you. Um, they view you as someone that is a good friend, 
you steer clear of drama or, you know, it's like you have a way with words. Again, something about how you speak, something about you speaking um, firmly, but like, you know, like you get your point across. And some of you, it's like, I was going to say with love, some of you, you just say what you mean and that's what they like about you. So it's just basically how, how you, how you present yourself. interesting they feel like they can't like they've had a hard time like moving on from this or moving on from you this doesn't feel like anyone that has like intentions of doing much but i i could be wrong we did not look into that but they are definitely someone who stays in the outskirts of your energy they think about you a lot they fantasize they fantasize what it would be like to be with you But look at that, coulda, woulda, shoulda. And then a part of them like, no, it, it's not over yet. You know, there's still a link to you, three of pentacles, page of pentacles. There's still a connection, but no real plan. Yeah, no decision. All right, until then, this person, you're going to continue to live rent-free in this person's existence. <laughs> My group number one. So let's get some oracle cards for you guys. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please, Spirit. Messages from this person, their secret admirer. What can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones, please. Messages for my group number ones. What can you tell us? Messages from their secret admirer. Messages from their secret admirer. Every once in a while, you might see this person or hear of them, maybe pop up on your timeline, something like that. We have incoming messages, AOL. Um, we have planters cheese balls. This person could act a little cheesy sometimes. <laughs> it's back. Oh, no. Maybe you're like, not you again. We have fun dip. A fun dip, scrumptiously umptious. Dip it, taste it, and wow. So this person might come in for a fun dip sometimes. Um, maybe that's even just checking your socials to see if you've updated anything. We have, you are the creator of your own destiny. Make it pretty. This person has seen you create your own destiny, but that has also triggered them again, um, almost like a mirror, a reflection of how maybe they've been falling short in their own life or in going after the things that they want or creating the changes that they know that they eventually need to make. Um, this person doesn't seem like they're making much progress with whatever they have going on. Um, so yeah, it feels like they're a little stuck on you. And then we have light bright. The future is looking bright. Keep positive. And then we have be extra mindful of your words. Again, something that you said or the way that you speak with this person uh, maybe you give them hope of how things can be different. That's why this person fantasizes of what it would be like to be with you or with someone like you. But at the same time, depending on how well they know you or your interaction with them, that one almost flew in the fire, um, they might be idealizing that, don't we all? We have death number five. So there has been a transformation here. There's been some kind of ending. I does not feel like you are around this person regularly. We have number four, love. So someone could have had a breakup. Again, possibly how you would know who this is. Number seven, tragedy. Oh, no. Number 10, carefreeness. And number five, happiness of the heart. Maybe this person saw you kind of overcome a tragedy or overcome some kind of difficulty in your life. Um, and they admire that. But a part of them is like, damn, I can't do that, or I don't know how to do that. All right, we have MM, MMR. Let's see, we have BD, <laughs> HF, F, 3Fs, Huff. What in the Hufflepuff? We have K <laughs> and we have D. So lots of repeat letters. You know, I always say your name, their name, first name, last name. Um, so yeah, someone could have repeat letters. All right, let's get our charm bowl. 
I looked over and my little ring light was sitting on top of the bowl. I had to toss it to the side. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group members. What group are we on? Shit, are we still on group number one? <laughs> I feel like we just went on a journey group number one. That's so funny. All right, we have the UFO cat, which um, silence. That's what that makes me think because it makes me think of high priestess energy. I'm also getting Pisces energy coming through. Um, Aquarius as well. We have the LA Mickey ears. Um, someone might like Disney or have kids. LA baseball sports connection. We have sexy MF with a Minnesota license plate. The month is June. The year is 92. We have onward. So we have lots of purple coming through. So lots of intuition. Also stillness and quiet. Maybe someone here likes purple. We have more Scorpio energy with the death card. There's been an ending here. So your secret admirer, there's been an ending in their situation. We have a handcuff. Someone could have been cuffed. Now they've broken free. We have knowledge is power. You have shared something with this person that is more valuable than I think. I don't think you realize the weight of it or the effect that it had on them. You said something to them that triggered them, but I think they respect you for it and they admire that about you. We have the vintage pot leaf. Someone here might like to smoke. We have amigos. It makes me think of friends, um, but friends in common, perhaps. Maybe someone likes to show. And then we have Robert Smith. Think of Boys Don't Cry, Friday I'm in Love. So yeah, it could be a workplace connection for some of you. All right, my group number ones, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Let's get to it. Today, we're going to be looking into your secret admirer. We're going to be asking, who are they? Um, how you'd know them? And what is it that they like about you? We'll be pulling some initials, some oracle cards, and charms at the end, friends. But please keep in mind, this is a collective reading on YouTube. Um, if I happen to pick up energy on a past person that you're completely over, you're done with it, um, my sincere apologies. That does happen. We might pick up on different parts of the timeline, and that just might mean that today it is not your story. So please, friends, if you happen to get triggered, all you have to do is click off of the reading. All right. Let's go, my group number twos. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my collective and my group number twos. My group number twos, please. Who is their secret admirer? My group number twos, please. Who is this? Who is the secret admirer that is into my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us, please, about my group number two secret admirer? What can you tell us, please? My group number twos. Who's their secret admirer? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. My group number twos. Who's their secret admirer? Thank you, Spirit. Who's their secret admirer? Messages for my group number twos. I don't know why my nose just started itching so bad. Group number twos. What in the allergies? We have King of Swords in reverse, High Priestess in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. Who is this? We have air signs and Pisces coming through. We have a Three of Swords. Well, whoever's got is your secret admirer. They um this is a heartbroken person. This is someone who's also very hard to read. Um, they, I don't think that they kind of, uh, are the best at communicating. For some of you, this is a friend. Could be someone you go to school with or work with. They're struggling though. They're, there's some kind of, there's someone who's, uh, I can't tell if it's like a, a mental health like struggle or what is, I mean, there's definitely some kind of struggle going on. Three of Swords, Star in Reverse, King of Swords in Reverse. This is someone who's really stuck in their head. They have a hard time um, owning up to their feelings or their thoughts. It's really hard for them to speak up. And um, this is someone who's, it's really easy to misunderstand them. 
Uh, I do think there's a big room for miscommunication with this person, even when they don't mean it, even when they're not trying to be deceptive. They just, there's some kind of, they have a really hard time kind of speaking up when it comes to, I guess, feelings, right? We have Scorpio energy coming through under Pisces, so heavy on the water. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Who is this person? Who is my group number two secret admirer? Why the Seven of Pentacles? Why the Three of Swords? Because you're not available to them. This is someone who's heartbroken over you. And they're not sure. Oh, I just heard, I don't know what I did. For some of them, they don't know what they did. Or for some of them, they feel like they're completely friend zoned by you. They feel like you're not available to them. They might, maybe you guys are um, with someone else or you just, they feel like you don't view them like that. This is someone that spends a lot of time thinking about you or yeah, I feel like they spend a lot of time thinking about you with that magician and that seven of pentacles. This person is also very resourceful. Why there's someone that knows a lot of people or knows how to make stuff happen. This person, I'm getting deer in headlights. The biggest challenge for them is that they're really in their head and they feel very stuck when it comes to you. This is someone who gets really nervous or they get really, uh, they get really trapped, really feeling trapped. Yeah, it's a feeling of being trapped. And that's how they're feeling right now. They either feel like they made the wrong choice or they're afraid to make the choice that they really want. And so because of that, it feeds into this circle of they, they get hopeless and then they, then they might get depressed or they, I don't know, this person's really in their head over you. This does not feel like it's, I mean, it might be secret, but it's like, damn, what'd you do to them? Group number two. <laughs> Like without any interaction? <laughs> because this person is pressed. If this is a scenario that they're just going through in their head over you, they are pressed over you. Yeah, this person feels they are they feel friend zoned or they feel like they want to get to know you better, but there's just there's something here they don't know either what happened or they don't they they haven't spoken out the truth to you about how they feel or how they view you or what you mean to them. Maybe the everything that's just coming, coming out right now, it's things that they're kind of, it's just floating around in their head. Because this is definitely someone who, I mean, they are like scared shitless to come towards you. They literally are like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? And then it's like, well, one foot in front of the other, you can, you know, Unless they're actually locked up, right? Unless, unless that's the rare case that they are someone who is incarcerated and they are just, you know, really heartbroken or disappointed at the fact that you're just unattainable to them. So they spend a lot of time thinking of you. That's not going to be for most of you, but those are for those of you that are, you know, maybe have a little pen pal. <laughs> Hey, I've seen the TikToks. I don't, I don't even know why they keep popping up for me. Listen. <laughs> All right. There's a couple of things I want to look into here. Let, let me see here. <laughs> why this King of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Swords in reverse? What's going on here in this King of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Swords in reverse? Oh, this person. So they're very set and stubborn about their position or their idea as to where they should be at, what their money should be, or what's expected of them. Um, so this is someone who, you know, they are prideful in that way. Um, this is someone also that is very focused on success, on their material success right now. That's another way of how you know who they are. Um, this person may have gone through, I don't know, some kind of change in their life that they are feeling unsettled. And so that's why they're kind of focused on that. But I am going to say big message here that even if, um, 
I don't know. I, I just think even if this person had the opportunity to talk to you, they would have a hard time letting you know how they truly feel. It's just, it's very hard for them. Um, why the high priestess in reverse with this death card? Why high priestess with the death card? What is this? So it's also a feeling here of they want to reveal this to you. They want to reveal something, but they feel like there's been an ending. So maybe they feel like you're no longer available to them or attainable to them. And it's because they didn't reveal this. This is almost the energy of someone that could have let their pride get in the way or they still are and they're, they know they're missing an opportunity with you. Here's the thing. This is someone who is very good at making things happen in their life. This is someone who, when they apply themselves, like they get shit done. Like this is almost like the type of person that anything that they wanted to put their focus on career-wise or business-wise or life goals, whatever. I think that they are more than capable of doing it, but I do think that they um, struggle when it comes to love or relationships or they've manifested this maybe connection with you or someone like you and now that they see you or that you're in their energy or that they came across you it's almost like they can't have it or they don't know how to make it happen interesting energy very stuck very very stuck lots of fears too here this person, um, they think about you a lot at night. They could also like think about you while they're like doing like work tasks. I'm just getting like, they almost go on autopilot. Why the three of swords with the queen of pentacles in reverse? Why the three of swords with the queen of pentacles in reverse? Messages for my group number twos. The lovers. Someone could have made a choice. Someone could have had someone else or there is a third party. Maybe that's part of the, them their reality or maybe yours why the page of pentacles with the ace of swords in reverse why the ace of swords in reverse so something happened so you walked away i'm gonna get what i'm feeling some of you could have moved on and walked away and that's what this justice in reverse the three of swords the ten of swords the ace of swords in reverse the two of swords the eight of cups, someone walked away and this person's like, wait, I still have this pentacle for you. Wait, I thought we were friends. Wait, there's still so much to explore here. Wait, I'm not done. And the other one's like, not around. And now this person's fears is keeping them from being coming forward or keeping them from Honestly, for some of them, it's like contacting you or getting some clarity in a situation, but they're feeling some kind of pain and some kind of stress. And they're feeling like someone made a decision to walk away. Maybe they had to. Maybe someone is focused on their own work or. You know, if you have kids, this page, that could be it. Maybe someone's focused on something new. But this isn't someone who's like talking to you right now or it, it doesn't feel like it. And the, they, they're they acting very aloof right now. They could, um, six, of, six of wands over here, sun in reverse. They could also be acting like they're happy and at round work or you know, around people, they act more confident than they actually are. And they might be like, you might think that they're unaffected by you kind of removing yourself from their energy or from whatever, you know, you distancing yourself for a lot of people or for a lot of you, I do feel like that's the case. Someone here had to leave or move on. And they're a lot more affected than they're letting on to be. We have lots of Aquarius energy coming through, Aries as well, Gemini um, and Libra. So all air signs and water signs. 
Leo. You guys always know Leo shows up to the party. <laughs> All right, my group number twos. Let's see. How would my group number twos know who this person is? What else can we know about their secret admirer? What else can we know about their secret admirer? How would my group number twos know who this is? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. What else can we know about their secret admirer? And how would they know who this is? Thank you, Spirit. I keep seeing page of pentacles, ten of pentacles. So someone here could have kids. Maybe your secret admirer has kids. That's just for my group number twos, please. Or work, of course, or school. <laughs> Take it as it applies to your age and stage, my friends. <laughs> Messages for my group number twos, please. What else can we know? How would they know who this is? And what else can we know about their secret admirer? Oh, there's someone who you feel played games or it's a situation that kind of kept you wondering, kept you feeling um, like you, you know, didn't know what was going on. Maybe you could have felt like you were detaching yourself. Yeah, this it's uh, this is someone who you had to draw a boundary with. It's like, I don't think you wanted to with that two of cups, but you had to. This is someone that you purposely, so you guys did walk away from this person. That's how you would know who they are. Because maybe they were in and out. They wouldn't share how they felt. Maybe you did know there was a third party. They have someone else or they had something else. This is someone that you um, went hermit on. You chose yourself. You could have felt like they were just maybe um, using you for a hookup or, you know, you're not interested in that. Maybe you viewed them as being immature and you pulled back your energy big time from this person. There's something here from the past. When you think back on them, you're not thinking of... There's like a lot here that I feel you think back on and you're not really happy on. Or there's things from the past that you couldn't let go of how they showed up and so you had to draw the boundary. We have Page of Swords, the Sun, and the Ace of Wands. Here's the thing though. Don't take this if it doesn't resonate. But for some of you, I think you'd be very happy to hear from this person. And maybe you're even wondering when you're going to hear from them or if you are. Maybe you're thinking back. There's a lot. Of, I think you do a lot of thinking about this person. I mean, who am I to say what you're thinking of? But for some of you, I think you think back to this person. They're not someone that seems like they're forgotten in the dust. Not quite yet. But maybe the dust hasn't settled. Maybe that's what's happening right now. This is someone that I think you wanted more with for some of you, of course. Um, you know, just take what resonates. Can't get it right for everybody. Yeah, I think for a lot of you, you wanted more with this person, but they just weren't showing up that way. So this person still has not moved forward and they're still very conflicted. And this person, your perspective on the situation is different than theirs. And they're wondering like, WTF, right? Wait, what happened? Where did you go? I mean, I know what happened, but wait, I wasn't done yet. Um, I didn't tell you all the things that I should have. And you're like, well, too bad, fool. You made me swing my sword around, right? You made me sprout these butterfly wings. So I'm about to fly away. And as I say that, I saw Empress and Judgment. Yeah, you had to um, you had to do you in this situation. And now I think you guys have found a lot more peace in the distance. Or like by having this distance with this person. Anything else, please? Messages from my group number twos about this person. We have the moon card. So it's almost like you know everything you needed to know about them. Moon reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, King of Wands reversed. It's like you saw that they weren't being consistent. They prioritized work or money or you saw them being consistent to other things or dedicated to other things, but it wasn't you. They, could, they repeated some kind of cycle with you and you had enough. So it seems like they had their chance, but they, you, they never admitted to you the truth of their feelings or their intentions. They, 
it, that didn't give you enough. And then, yeah, maybe you felt like this person was just toying with you. Um, but again, a lot of that could be not sticking up for this person. You guys know I don't do that. But a lot of that could be because they do have some kind of issue with communication. You know, very difficult, very difficult for them. Talk about a blocked ass throat chakra. <laughs> Let's see what they like about you. What is it that this intense ass secret admirer <laughs> admires about my group number twos? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What does their secret admire, admire, admire about them? What does this person like about my group number twos? Thank you, spirit. What does their secret admirer like about my group number twos? What does this person like about my group number twos? What does their secret admirer like about my group number twos? We have the Fool. We have the Knight of Swords. They love how you try new things. They like how you, they've seen you do something, move on from things, put a stop to things in order. They see you as a, a magician. They see you as someone who has moved on in order to like make your life better. Or they've watched you kind of create this new life and this new beginning for yourself. They view you as someone who is super resourceful and you're someone who like says what they mean or you say what you're going to do and you do what you're going to say. So it's like you're someone who's true to your word. This person also loves how your like spirit. It's almost like there's a part of you that's very like childlike or very like your energy is really light. You guys also have really like pleasant energy is what I'm getting. So they feel your high vibration pretty much. Messages for my group number twos. What does this person like about them? You guys make your wishes come true. They've, uh, they admire how you walked away from situations, people, places, things. They've seen you start over. They admire if this person has watched you go through a breakup or a divorce or um, some kind of difficulty or challenge, that's part of what they admire about you. They view you as someone who makes um, difficult choices in order for your own greater good or you do the right thing even if it if it's hard to do the right thing. Why the fool? At least that's how they view you in making choices in your life and things that you've done. This person, um, they feel like they've seen you do something. They've seen you walk away from things. So that's why when you walked away from them, it triggered them because they're like, damn, it's almost like I am the problem. Why the fool? Because they've seen you do it before. Yeah, they see you as being someone who has made um, you get out of your comfort zone or you have and you've kind of have trusted and let things like surrendered and you let things go. They also admire how you're someone who is able to move on and learn from your experiences. So again, it kind of triggers them because if you did walk away from them, it's almost like, damn, I know group number two doesn't just be walking away for nothing. They view you as someone who it's, it's like, you know what you're doing. Why the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, they view you as someone who has left situations that don't bring you stability. They've seen you be someone who's like created change. There's been some kind of a disadvantage. They view, they love your creativity and how much love you have for the things that you nurture. They absolutely love and admire how you're cultivating a certain life for yourself, one that you love, one that brings a lot of love as well. They love how you bring like healing to people, to yourself. They love how grounded you are. They view you as being someone who has 
goals and wishes that you actually like work towards. You're not someone that just talks about them. You actually go after them. They view you as being someone who's fearless. That's also part of what triggers them as well, because maybe they don't feel like they're like that. They're someone who gets so stuck in their head and they view you as someone you just go for it. And you're like, yeah, well, I'm scared too, but I have to. And they're like, how do you do that? They love that about you. They view you as someone who a lot of people look up to. This king of wands gets attention, you know. There's someone who other people are like drawn to. They view you as being very strong. They also be, um, view you as someone who isn't impulsive. Um, someone who's very grounded. And even if you don't feel like that at all times, it's like you exude this energy of being able to transmute whatever's thrown at you into something that works out for you. Again, even if you don't view it, it's like outside perspective, right? That this is someone that sees you um, in your power. We have the Wheel of Fortune. They admire how you've taken control of your destiny and you've rolled with the punches and you've done what you had to do. They view you as someone who has almost like paid the price, paid the cost to be at peace. This is something that they have maybe witnessed from afar or watched you do. It makes this person, it makes them really happy to see you succeed. I will say that. Page of Swords, the Sun. You're someone, if you guys like put out content or speak or um, give advice, it's like, it's, it's like you, sh you shine the sunshine on others. And I'm going to say, I, I really feel like this person, um, it makes them happy to see you in this energy. Even if they are heartbroken, even if they um, do have the shoulda, coulda, wouldaves, even if they are stuck in their head about what to do about you, when it comes to you as an individual and as a person, this person sees all these magical things with you, within you. And they see you as being someone who's very confident. And it's almost like, how does group number two do that? How do they do that? Empress. Yeah, they might see you as a parent, business owner, mother. Doesn't have to be. But they view you as someone. They, they feel like they've watched you slowly glow up and they're watching you, they continue to watch you kind of bloom. They see you as being someone who's really exciting. Someone who's very passionate. And it makes them kind of question themselves because you, they have you as this like, ultimate, you know, and they view themselves as the emperor in reverse to your empress. So when it comes to their admiration to you, let's just say this person is fucking swooning. <laughs> Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Aries. Aries again, all signs coming through. But yeah, guys, wow. You said something to this person, or maybe there's some kind of advice or just the way you speak, the way you are. When I tell you this person, their admiration borders on being an enamored. We didn't ask how they feel about you, but we did see what they admire about you. And yeah, friends, this person, they think you're the shit. Of course you are. My group number twos. I told you guys, if you land on my channel, you're hot and you're definitely the shit. <laughs> All right, group number twos. Let's see what our little 90s oracle cards want to add to the mix. We're going to do these initials and charms as well. And these other little oracle cards. All right, messages for my group number twos, please. From their secret admirer. What can we know about this person?
this person, they um, have money or maybe they're a business owner. There's someone who um, I feel like there's a main focus on that. <laughs> All right. We have um, shoot your shot. So they're, they wish they could shoot their shot. They're going to miss 100% of the shots they don't take, right? But that's up to this person. And of course, who knows if you're into it, but this person's really struggling with the fact that they do want to come towards you. They are feeling very stuck. Even if you did walk away from them, it's almost like they're fighting themselves because they don't want it to be like this. We have incoming messages, AOL, so someone could be messaging you. We have accept the truth no matter how bitter um, you, that is you, you might be the bitter truth to this person because you are doing the things you're having the growth and maybe they feel like they're getting left behind, but literally it's your problem, buddy. Um, we all got to take that path alone and, you know, decide when it's time we have, you know, you got the juice, right? This person feels like you got the juice. This also reminds me of like orange Julius. So maybe the name Julius or J name. We have make the first move. This person is struggling. Look at uh, this person looks at their phone and they might start writing messages and delete them. Um, they're trying to shoot their shot with you guys. I think they are. I would not be shocked if you do end up hearing from them. Of course, only if you're, they're not blocked. If it's someone that you want, that's, you know, take the messages how they resonate. I can't do the fine print every time, guys. Just bear with me. <laughs> Um, then we have big baller. We already talked about this. I do think, um, this person could definitely afford the deluxe version of the Lunchables and then some, uh, with the juice and the Reese's, um, yeah, material things happening here. Then we have cry ba baby, extra sour bubble gum. You kind of did it to yourself, bud. Listen, weren't we just talking about that? This person's doing it to themselves. So it uh, could be an air sign as well. This crybaby reminds me of Sour Patch Kids and Sour Patch reminds me of Gemini's. <laughs> That's what I call my daughter. She's a big ass Gemini. So anytime I see that, I think of Gemini energy. So you guys are cute. You're Sour Patches. You're sour, then sweet. All right, we have number four, the sick man. Um, yeah, this person, I definitely think that they're struggling. They're maybe someone who struggles with uh, mental health, depression, um, you know, something like that. Anxiety. We have number one, sorrow. So they are in their feels. Maybe you were in your feels over this person too. We have number 12, young lady. So there could be a slight age difference. We have number eight, the reunion. Someone wants reunion here. We have number three, lovely view. Someone likes to have a good view, likes to have an eagle eye view, likes to keep an eye on things. Again, I don't think they really like if they kind of don't have access to knowing what's going on. I can't remember if I said that in this group or in another group, but number 11, the lover. So this person has not moved on. They, they got the feels. We didn't look into their feels, but everything's pointing to feels. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have sorry. Um, is it too late to say I'm sorry now? All right, Justin Bieber coming through. Look, J, what did I say? J name. And then J-I-S. I did say Julius earlier. We have R-Z. Riza, someone might like Wu-Tang. I think that's Rihanna's baby's name too. We have IQ. Someone's really smart here. This person, that's something else they admire about you. And we have cop. Someone could be a cop. Oh, Lord. Listen, if you're into that. Jay is a cop. Oh, no, not the ops. <laughs> we have F. J is F. All right. This is giving us whole ass sentences, guys. We keep pulling. We're about to start telling everybody's secrets. Let's get some time for you, group number twos. Not the airing out the secrets with whole ass sentences, guys. <laughs> we have I Heart LA. Someone could be LA. Mexican flag. A Mexican from LA. Never heard of her. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, maybe someone's here 
here in LA, we have the snake. This always reminds me of a snake shedding its skin, transformation. You have triggered growth in this person, um, whether they were expecting it or not. Um, this person is definitely going through the motions. Look at these daggers going through the mask. So this person tries to put on a happy face, but all in all, they're feeling those daggers. They're keeping it hidden as well. You're getting Pisces energy. Um, it's almost like they're cracking open. Then we have nasty. Someone here could like Prince or things got a little nasty between you guys. Maybe there's been a nasty tale to tell because we have the heart-shaped bed. Definitely fantasies floating around here with you. We have the sage bundle. Someone needed to clear their energy. Um, also a reminder to spiritually cleanse, my friends. We have you are enough. Someone was triggered into growth. Maybe that was you. You had to decide you are enough and step away. Look, lots of pain and love in this group. We have the sacred heart with the dagger going through it. Lots of passion, lots of love, lots of desire. But that dagger, it's that pain is going through it. All right, my group number two is that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated, friends. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into who is your secret admirer. Um, yeah, we're going to be asking the question, who is this person, how you'd know them, and what is it that they like about you? We'll be pulling some initials, some oracle cards today at the end. Um, some charms as well. But friends, I have to remind you, if I pick up energy of someone that you want nothing to do with, been there, done that, or it just doesn't sound like it's for you, by all means, that's a very strong indicator that this may not be your story or might be picking up on a different timeline for you, something that already you've been done with. Um, I know a lot of you are triggered by hearing about past people. So if that does happen, please feel free to click off of the reading, my friends. All right, let's get to it. My group number three is let's see what comes through for you today. Um, groups number one and two took us for a ride and you never fail to take us for a ride. Group number three. So let's get into it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number three is my group number three is the Spirit. Who is their secret admirer? Who is this person? Who is my group number three's secret admirer? Who is this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Who is their secret admirer? Messages for my group number threes. Well, I am getting a side message for you guys. This is for those of you that, um, you know, there's a way, like, if you're someone who's fairly popular or you share information, you have a platform that you use, like stuff like that. I think you guys have a lot of <laughs> secret admirers. Um, that's the first message I'm getting. Um, some of you invoke feelings of jealousy in other people. So um, your looks or your career, your passion for life, your zest for life, you just never know. But um, I do want to say that you guys do have um, secret admirers in the form of haters, but they're still admirers. Hating is still admiration. All right, we have the King of Wands. Who is this person? My group number three, secret admirers. So the strongest energy that's coming through is a King of Wands. This is someone who has attracted themselves, but they're rather aloof. This person, they're four of cups. Who is this person? Oh my goodness. Oh, this person. You might be ignoring them or they might be ignoring you. Either way, it feels like there is some feels here for you. Someone feels a strong attraction and a strong connection to you and they just want to come towards you. But your vibe tells them you better back the fuck up <laughs> or you get smacked the fuck up. <laughs> Something like that. Your vibe is nope, not today, buddy. Now, that could just mean that you're not very uh, you're not coming off as being very approachable to this person or you're just not talking to this person. Look, now, I don't know. You guys, this is someone that you've talked to for sure. This is someone. Um, yeah, they view you as someone who has your guard up. This person thinks you're really smart and you have a smart mouth. I just heard. This person likes that. They're like drawn to your, you know, if you're a little sassy or a little like 
you just say how it is. Why the Four of Cups? Who is this? Who's in my group number three secret admirer? Why the Four of Cups? <laughs> Why the lovers? Oh, wow. This is someone who's manifesting you. This is someone who, listen, I don't know if you guys have listened to yesterday's reading, but I'm picking up similar energies. This is someone who hasn't given up on you, even though things are not moving forward right now. They're waiting for something to blow over. This is also someone who um, they're almost like pretending. It's almost like we're pretending that this isn't here between us. This person's got a fat crush on you. Uh, it almost feels like it's more than that. I, I, for some of you, there's been more here. I'm feeling like mutual attraction. I feel like it's a long time coming. I feel like when you guys are together and talking, it's very flirtatious. It borders on roasting, perhaps, coming from you. There's a lot of conversation here. You've given this person a, a lot of food for thought. But um, someone here is rejecting or is kind of pretending not to have this attraction. Now, this is someone who's manifesting more with you. They're manifesting some kind of union with you. And this is someone who in recently or, yeah, no, it feels like it's recently. They've um, gotten clarity over their own feelings for you. And it's like they're planning long game. I just heard long game. So this tells me this person is a slow mover. This has been a slow burn connection. It does feel like a connection. Why the Four of Cups with the Page of Wands, please? Someone could be a fire sign. I have lots of fire and air. Oh my gosh, why? Well, I wonder why. It's like they have to, they have to almost like, uh, they have to ignore their own horniness for you. <laughs> their desires for you, friends. This person, this person seems a little wild. Like they can't be tamed, but they have to tame themselves. This person just, um, I will say, there's definitely a big sexual attraction, but it goes beyond that. But right, it is, right now, that's what's showing up the most. But it's almost like we have fun. I love talking to you. I love interacting with you. I wonder what, you know, I wonder what else there is to know. I wonder what else there is to do. But you are not giving this person the time of day right now, or they're not feeling very positive about the fact that you're not really open to them or receptive to them or talking to them. It's almost like they want to manifest the perfect opportunity to kind of let you know how they feel or kind of bring some clarity to the situation. This is someone who I'm getting, they might be a fixed sign, a Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus doesn't have to be, but it's really hard for them to kind of close out cycles or like let things go. And even if right now you think that they don't feel this way or they're not into you, it's like, no, they are. They're just four of cups. They're ignoring it. All right, let's see. Um, <clears throat> let's put these right here. I want to see more about this, the king of cups with the ace of swords. This person might need liquid courage, you know. Maybe that's when they think of you. Maybe that's when they realize this. Not for everyone, but why the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords? Oh, man. Listen, this person, um, they've come to some kind of realization where they want to put effort into this. They want to work on this. They see a lot of, they see so much within you. They see abundance. They see they're attracted. I mean, they see you as being like all the things. You check, you check all the boxes for this person. They see you as someone who's like, you're a hard worker. You put like the effort in you. Maybe that's even like physically or just like in your life. They view you as being someone that like built something for themselves or you've just like created this life and you have this confidence. This person is coming through. Even if this person isn't the most romantical, this person has spent a lot of time thinking about you and it's like they've come to realize some shit. Let me tell you. 
I want to see what they're manifesting here. Why the magician with the lovers? This person's also very resourceful. It's giving like entrepreneur vibes or someone that has their own way of going about things. So that makes me think that when they're determined, they like make things happen for themselves. Why the lovers and the magician? What else can you tell us? Who is this person? The fool. They want, yeah, they want a new beginning with you. Why are they viewing my group number threes as the queen of swords with the sun in reverse? Something came, became obvious. You made something obvious or they're starting to realize something about you're not moving forward or maybe you put a stop sign to this or there's a reason why they can't come forward. They might feel like they still need to work on their money or figure out something in their life. They might have an ex that they need to figure out like that situation if it was like a family situation or it, it could have been a job right now you guys are hermit from each other this person is feeling it ten of wands five of cups well this person it feels like they have plans it feels like they know this person they're set on you and in the energy that I'm reading, it almost feels like it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time before I, I come in or it's a matter of time before I, I let you know how I feel or things can move forward here. It's almost like you are the prize and this person is keeping their eye on the prize. They view you as being very goal oriented as well. So they view you as someone I'm getting like power couple vibes but they don't feel at your level yet. It's like they see all this potential of like, damn, like whoever ends up with group number three is fucking lucky. And I want to be the one that's fucking lucky. It's me. I know I'm, I'm the lucky winner, but it's like they have some catching up to do. This person fights urges to like be a little uh, impulsive and interact with you or come towards you, something like that. Lots of energies coming through, friends. I think I said most of them. Gemini was coming through as well. All right. How would my group number threes know who this person is? How would my group number threes know who their secret admirer is? I almost feel like your person's like saw you go through some glow up. Um, but that's the same level that I was talking about at the beginning, where I think you guys have a lot of secret admirers slash haters, but they're still admirers, you know? I literally just heard someone saying how hate is just misdirected love and admiration. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number three is how would they know who this person is? How would they know who their secret admirer is? Thank you, Spirit. We have Sun card at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number three is how would they know who their secret admirer is? How would they know who their secret admirer is? How would they know who this person is? Yeah, it's someone you're currently not around. Oh, interesting. It, this is someone uh, that if they were to come around, I think, there would need to be a serious discussion um, that is had. Maybe you already, you this is someone you had to draw the boundary with because you needed more. It's You needed more out of this situation. That's how you would know who they are. And in order for them to return, some of you are open to it, but there would need to be like the queen of swords needs to say what she's got to say and she better get an answer that she seem that she deems worthy or appropriate or like enough, right? Because um, it definitely feels like if you were to give this person another chance or allow them to return or get back together with them, there would need to be definitely a conversation that's had a real truthful upfront conversation. Yeah. So for a lot of you, this is a situation that you are, I'm going to say, um, I'm feeling that you're still interested or you're still invested. Yeah, Queen of Wands. 
I feel like you want this too. Now that's not going to be for everyone. And you know if that's not for you. But I'm talking to those of you babes that you are open to this. It's like this person knows. Yeah, because they didn't give you anything solid or stable. You, I think you guys went through um, having to cut out different people out of your life, perhaps, or situations that weren't steady or stable. Why the five of pentacles in reverse? Oh, look at that. There's still feelings here. Someone's still got feelings, whether you, them, or both of you. Why the hermit in reverse? Yeah, they would have to reveal what they've been hiding. They've been hiding their feelings for you, and you know that, and that's what it would cost in order to return back into your life. Someone here is also triggered by the thought of someone else moving on, or jealousy, or it, maybe it's the conversation that's going to bring up some kind of conflict. I can't help. Someone here has been hurt, and that needs to be addressed. Why the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why the Seven of Swords? Someone's pretending like they've moved on, but there's been a lot of indecision or maybe a little stalemate energy. Maybe that's why you felt like you had to move on. It's almost like you had to do what you had to do. And then now this person's like, but wait. Yeah, because they don't like how it feels like being on the outskirts. I kind of feel like your secret admirer ain't so secret. I mean, maybe it's secret because they it's secret to them because they haven't said anything or they haven't owned up to their feelings. I don't think it's a secret to you. And maybe you've been wondering, like, are they affected? Like, do they even care? Like, I don't talk to them anymore. I don't give them energy. And it's like, well, what I'm picking up on is someone that's definitely affected, even though they're playing aloof or cups earlier. But this is someone who, it's like some of them might even be afraid that you have other people that want you. They know that other people want you. That's the thing. They know it. And that's also part of what's digging at them. What else, please? What else can we know? How would my group number threes know who this is? What else can we know with? Yeah, someone's been undecisive and just playing aloof. Someone here plays like they don't care or they don't think too far ahead. It's like nonchalanting, but chalanting very hard. Someone here is also in denial over what they want in the situation. Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, Two of Cups. Four of Cups, Empress in Reverse. They just can't make a move, can they? Or at least they didn't in the past. So this is who's admiring you from the shadows. We have Virgo, Pisces, air signs, fire signs. <laughs> and then, you know, who, who's showing up to the party? With, who's showing to the party in the sunshine, top off, little nippies out? Leo, that's who's showing up. <laughs> group number three is well this person huh let's see what is it that they like about you what is it that they're admiring in secrecy about you thank you spirit messages for my group number threes please what does this person like about my group number threes what does this person like about my group number threes what is it this person they like seeing pictures of you. This person, I think they have pictures of you saved. They might, or they have somewhere where they go and they can see pictures of you. Maybe on your grid or on their hidden folder. I don't know. What does this person like about my group number threes? What does their secret admirer like about my group number threes? All right, what do we have here? The chariot in reverse, the four. The two of wands. Messages for my group number threes. What does this person like about them? What does this person like and admire about them? 
well, they've seen you walk away from things or they've seen you make some kind of pivot in your life. They, oh, for some of you, it's like they kind of saw you heading in a direction and you could have realized or you could have thought that that wasn't right for you or maybe you couldn't see your future or um, investing in that. There was some kind of pivot here where maybe you decided to break free. Maybe you guys were in a bad relationship or in a bad job or had a career shift or something in your life. It's like you had to break free. Oh, shit. Our light just turned off. That be happening. All right, guys. I had to turn on our little light again. It turned off on us. It's been a while since it done that. And I was saying that as you breaking free. So you guys, um, you guys aren't afraid to be on your own either. You're very independent. Messages for my group number threes. What does this person like about them? What does their secret admirer like about them? They view you as being really smart and really loving. Very understanding. They see you, it's like they see you as someone who follows your heart, but you also like, it's not just blindly following your heart. It's like you have love, you have heart in your decisions. And even if they're tough decisions, they can also view you as like, um, like tough love. That's something they admire about you. They definitely admire your advice, your opinions, your intellect, your ideas, the way you speak. It's lovingly, it's clear though, and it's to the point. It can cut you, but it also heals you. They view, one of the things they admire about you is you left something or you put a stop to something. They've also seen you like break away from relationships and friendships, breaking away from people. You're not afraid to like be on your own. It's almost like you guys rather be on your own than to be surrounded by the wrong people they they love that you like choose yourself love yourself and do like it's like you continue to bring more abundance into your life and again your independence like you're not afraid you're not afraid to do things on your own they admire about you that you trust your intuition they view you as being someone that's very like intuitive about career or money or like um, abundance or like stability. It's like even though things might look good on the surface, like you feel into them. And I think they've seen you make changes that other people maybe wouldn't understand or um, yeah, not everyone gets it because you're just different. You're just living your this your own life that's like beautiful in its own way like this person sees you as all these really big things they see you as being very intuitive so the psychic group right again they value your advice your ideas your like how you think how you speak you guys, I don't know, maybe someone's a singer or it's almost like they like the sound of your voice by the Queen of Cups. And they love how even when things don't work out for you, even when things aren't in your favor or something doesn't work out, like you still have this outlook on life where you're not mad or you tend to like approach things with love. Like maybe when you talk about you know, people that you used to know or old jobs or things that, you know, you could be bitter about, you could be upset about. It's like, you're not, you might like laugh it off or you might be like, yeah, that was tough, but I learned, or, you know, it's like the way that you speak on it. It's like, you guys aren't full of hate, even though you very well could be, um, you know, they, so they view you as being like high vibrational. Then we have two of cups. They feel like this deep bond to you. This person feels like what would be possible with you or someone like you. It's mostly with you, though, not someone like you because you're right in front of them or at least you're in their peripheral. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. So they love communication with you. 
They love how you nurture them. It's almost like, you know, when like, I don't know, like someone calls you baby and it's like, oh, just do that again. Like that just feels like a hug. Like Monique, you know, she just did an interview and she calls everyone baby. And it's like, when she just calls you baby, it just feels like a warm hug from someone. And it's almost like that, like the, the way that you love or the way you express yourself and <laughs> it keeps turning off. All right. So they don't want me to talk about that anymore because they do not like to share how they feel. They're four of swords right now. They're eight of pentacles. They're hermit, but they're keeping an eye out. Um, yeah, this is the energy of someone that hasn't given up. This person views you in very high regard. They also like that you put your boundaries down. And even though they don't like how things currently are, they understand why you had to put your boundaries on them. But they are talking about, I'm coming back. I'm returning. Listen, <laughs> rebuke it if you must or claim it if you must, whatever, wherever you land on that spectrum, friends. All right, let's get you guys some Oracle cards and see what they want to add to your situation. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number threes, please. Their secret admirer. I almost called them your hidden admirer. It's because they're hidden. <laughs> they're hiding right now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you guys are both pretending to be hiding from each other. Doesn't feel like it's over. What in the Lenny Kravitz? It ain't over till it's ever over. <gasps> Isn't he an Aquarius? Is Lenny Kravitz an Aquarius? Today is February 15th, so we're still in Aquarius season. And I don't know what made me think that, but Aquarius energy coming through. Messages for my group number threes, please. He seems like an Aquarius. Maybe a Pisces. I don't know. Messages for my group number threes. All right, let's see. Talk girl, keep all your receipts. So if you've text this person or, um, you know, if there's some kind of trail of a conversation, this is something that they go back to. Um, we have state fair, classic corn dogs. Maybe there's something here about the summertime or a carnival or a fair. Maybe someone um, acted like a corn dog. God knows I love a corn love corn dogs <laughs> we have barbie let them keep sleeping on you so maybe you felt like this person was sleeping on you maybe this person has also seen that you move out of situations where they are snoozing on you we have ice them out yeah they view you as they kind of view you as breaking free almost like you're not really accessible um maybe you've iced people out strong air sign energy Aquarius Libra Gemini and then we have sure Jan the old maid so maybe you feel like this is someone that you were waiting on and you were just growing old waiting for them or it got old and we have did you forget that you always bounce back this person knows that you always bounce back they definitely have an admiration for you um, and how you've handled situations and continue to handle them this person feels like they could learn a lot from you whether they say that or not. All right. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes are secret admirer. All right. So I definitely don't think that this person has been upfront over to the extent of their attraction or their feelings for you. I just saw thief and then we had that seven of swords earlier. So it's all that it's still the same energy of not being upfront. We have number nine loyalty. They view you as being very loyal um believe it or not i feel like they are also a loyal person once they decide that they want something and commit it's like they're pretty dependable we have number two the old lady what did we have someone here feels old someone said i'm too old for this shit um you guys also have the wisdom of an old owl regardless of your age you could be the most wisest oldest owl um, the oldest spirit, right. in a young body. So age doesn't matter, but something here is coming through about age. We have number nine prison. We have two nines, someone feeling stuck. Um, this person feels stuck, maybe in a prison of their own making, hopefully not a real life prison. We have number 10 soldier. 
this person feels like you've gone through a lot, but they also kind of view themselves as being someone that's gone through a lot. We have two number 10s and two number nines. What else? Oh, we have three tens. So lots of challenges, um, lots of change coming as well is what I feel. We have number 10, the thief. We already thought, um, we already talked about that. <laughs> Too many THs. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Third time's a charm with that light, guys. I don't know what's going on. If it goes out again, we're just leaving it. Um, so the thief, I don't think this person has been upfront. Maybe you even feel like this person had just came in and tried to get away with something. Um, but yeah, it's weighing on them. We have number seven, tragedy. So someone could have had a tragedy or maybe someone saw you pull through from a tragedy. Tragedy can be, you know, any, any kind of challenge in life. It doesn't necessarily have to be a tragedy, but a hardship of some sort. And we have the third number 10. We have perseverance. They saw you persevere. That's another thing that they're very attracted to. And number 13, the merchant. Someone here could be self-employed or... Um, yeah, sells something that they make or is in sales. They see you being as like hustler. You persevere. You keep going. Listen, they're into you. That's not the that's not the problem. I don't know what is the problem, but I think you guys may <laughs> might know that if this is ringing true. All right, I was trying to make more room. Let's see what we have here. We have Russ. So Russell coming through, also Ruff, R-H, Rhode Island. Yeah, there's Road, Roads as well. We have H-D, Z. We have J-L. We have V, Vic. Victor, victory. All right, let's get some charms. So we have VIC, DH, ZH. We have three H's, two R's. So repeat letters. First name, last name. Messages for my group number. Threes, please. All right, this person thinks you're one in a million. I just saw Aaliyah. You're one in a million. You're different. You are different. My group number threes. We have ha ha clown. So um, someone here maybe is afraid of like being laughed at or their emotions of like being too vulnerable. Someone here wears a mask. It, maybe they rather point the finger, you know, cause a distraction um, than to own up to how they feel. Then we have hopeful. You've brought a lot of hope to this person. This person views you as a star. We have um, the hand holding the flowers, so they want to bring you a gift or they wish they could. We have the sacred heart with the dagger, a lot of passion, a lot of love, but also surrounded by pain. And then we have knowledge is power. This person views you as being very knowledgeable, very smart, um, but they also want to like share knowledge with you or think of how they feel. My goodness, this person, huh? All right, my group number threes, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys.